and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Rec, and I am playing World of Warcraft. Oh dear god, I'm playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> In case you didn't get the memo, um, I've suddenly recently gotten back into this game. Uh, so, thought I'd show you some stuff. I'm basically starting from scratch on a new server with um, a few friends from the VA that have chosen to remain anonymous to protect their identities for they do not want to be known as people that actually play this game um, see there's a running thing where we're all actually trying to hide on on TeamSpeak from uh, from other people that really don't like this game so it's like uh, we're all sort of crack dealers I guess or um what's a better what's a better a better analogy for that uh, we're it's like prohibition, and we're all in speakeasies, and we're pretending that we don't play this game when we actually do play this game. I guess it's a little confusing when I put it that way, but uh, I guess that's the gist of it. So, um, I'm in Wailing Caverns. Uh, I'm about level 20, I think, in this video. Uh, if you see me running around just collecting things, that's requests and stuff, nothing interesting. Uh, you sh all the quests are pretty much the same as they've always been for Wailing Caverns. But, 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 there are differences, and that is why I'm filming this, to bring it to you and show you the differences between old Wailing Caverns and new Wailing Caverns. But anyway, uh, we're on the first boss here, fighting her. Her name is Lady Anaconda. She doesn't do very much. Um, she has, like, a sleep, I believe, and that's pretty much it. I, I think I interrupted that or something, and I felt proud of myself. Um, but this is a funny group. You'll notice we have, I think, a shaman, a rogue? Is that a rogue? No, that's not a rogue. We have a shaman, a paladin, a priest, and a mage. Um... I think the shaman, out of all of those classes, is actually the only one that can use leather. And take note of what drops off of every single boss in here while we're running through here. Uh, it makes our tank very upset, actually. But anyway, we're uh, progressing into the left wing of the instance, uh, moving along at uh, super goblin light speed. Oh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention, I'm playing as a goblin mage, and I'm frost spec. Um, if you couldn't notice that, uh, then you, uh, you're you normal, because um, normal people wouldn't know um, that. Anyway, ding level 20. Yeah, I'm level 20 in here. That that made it quite obvious. Anyway, second boss, Lord Pythus, I believe. Now, he's not really supposed to be here. They, they actually moved him. Um... And you'll see why as we keep going through here. Maybe you already know, maybe you don't. But they have updated Wailing Caverns. Um, and that's kind of half the reason I wanted to show you what this instance is like. Because uh, it, it does look a lot different, and it plays a lot different now. Um, but only... I say a lot because it feels like a lot. Because they took a lot of the monotony out of it. Um, when I bring up my map here in a bit, I'll show you... Uh, what the what the gist of what's going on is, but uh, the, it's streamlined Wailing Caverns. Um, they took the bosses and they kind of moved them around a little bit. Um, they they the the goal in mind though for this for this instance was to make it less confusing and less dumb because it's level twenty le level twenty sort of instance. And if you played this game before and you remember how Wailing Caverns used to be, it used to be annoying. Like, it was, it was freaking terrible. I hated Wailing Cavern so bloody much back in the day, and I kept having to run it because it had my thing set, and I really wanted it for leveling. But, uh, it just took forever to get through. It was, it was terrible. However, however, oh, new boss, by the way. I think he's already dead. That was Lord Cobron something, and, yeah, the, he's, he's, he's down and dead. And, um, already our party... Oh, by the way, I should probably give a shout-out to my guild I'm running with. This is a guild I picked up on, um... I joined and picked up with on the server. They they seem extremely nice and extremely awesome. So, um, I wanted to give a shout-out and thank my guild for letting me in. Um, they seem to have their stuff together, and they're really, really cool. Very helpful people, uh... The guild Red Ring of Death on, on our server... <laughs> and uh 
just quick shout out to them. It, it was a really fun run. I enjoyed this instance. Here's Crash. What is Crash going to drop? Give you three guesses. Shield, a shield, or a shield. Oh, look, it's a shield. Amazing. <sighs> anyway. Now, here's another weird one. I don't think you were supposed to be here either, Mr. Rhino. Weren't you in some other part of the instance? I guess he got thirsty. He got thirsty, and that's what he's doing up here. That's that's what Mr. Mr. Smog or whatever the heck his name was. I don't remember the boss's name right now. There's the there's the Rhino one, and there's the there's the lady, and there's the dude, and there's the other dude. Um, I don't know. I kind of got in the habit of calling these bosses by what they drop. So basically, there's the belt, and there's the the pants, and there's the shirt bosses pretty much. Uh, they just all kind of run together. They do pretty much the same sorts of things. But we're about to get to the uh, the major turning point of what they changed around here, um, if we haven't passed it already. But uh, normally about here in the instance, I think it's about here. We might have already passed it. No, no, it's coming up. Um, you would progress into a very large maze network, I believe. That is a little bit confusing, a little bit, eh. But all of a sudden, we get into this cavern, and the maze, where is it? Oh, it's not there. That entire right part of the instance, it's gone. We've already pretty much completed about half of the instance, or more, I would actually say, probably based on the timestamp, uh, two-thirds of the instance already. Um, and normally this last bit takes a good 15 minutes by itself. So Blizzard did good, I think. I think they really cut down on the, uh, the annoying factor of this place. But anyway, um, so we're gonna progress up through here, and instead of the winding maze, we have basically one little tunnel run. And the epic jump, I'm glad they put the, they kept the epic jump in. You can actually fail that jump and fall to uh, to the annoyance of all of your party members. I guess not as much annoyance now, but it used to be pretty annoying. Because if you fell down, it took you about 15 minutes to get back up there. And everyone got to laugh at you the whole time you were running. But it, it took forever, and it was, it was really annoying. But, um, yeah, anyway. I think this is the last thing, Lord, Lord Serpentis who would be the pants boss. No, not the pants boss. He's the footpads of the thing boss. Ah. <laughs> yeah, and the tank does more raging. Oh, poor Johnny. I knew thee well. And then we have another boss in here. What's what's your name? Your name is Warden of the something. You're the Earth Warden some I don't even remember. Oh, Verden the Everliving. Okay. That's that's his name. <laughs> yeah, he uh he drops s stuff of some sort of thing I don't even remember right now. Uh, so, <laughs> that's pretty much all the main bosses. Um, the thing is still in here, the escort quest, by the way, but Blizzard's done something to it, too. Something I wasn't expecting at all, so I'm going to turn in my quest really quick and get my happy new robe. Um, I like blue. Blue's my favorite color. But anyway, a little bit of a discretion there. So I talked to this guy, and I'm like, well, this guy moves really slow, so I can just hang out. Oh my god, he is booking it! Oh, Actually, we end up having a little bit of trouble keeping up with him because of how fast he's running now. Like, this Torin is... He's been eating his Wheaties. Like, he just bulldozes ahead of everyone, and I have to, like, blink to keep up with him and stuff. He, it's pretty ridiculous. I wasn't wasn't expecting them to change that at all. But they did, so... Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty freaking weird. And uh, let's see if he does it. Yep, there he goes. He's off again. Steamrolling through Whaling Caverns. He, he's in quite a bit of a hurry now. But uh, we're going to come up to this last little thing. I think there's a raptor. Yep, and now he's, now he's walking. That's his normal, what he used to walk at through the entire instance, and it took forever. But, uh, so he's going to come up, and he's going to do his little happy little ritual. Blah, 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 protect me while I do stuff, and blah, 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 run around in circles, blah, blah, blah. So we get, like, a couple snakes. Da, 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 da. 
burn him down, burn him down, burn him down. And he sits there and he's like, ha oh, power of the something, whatever, I don't remember, be with you, and blah, 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 and whatever else he says. I'm trying to think of a movie reference, but it's not coming to me right now. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. There, well, That was it. That was it. And then this boss, the giant murloc, um, the last boss of Wailing Caverns here. It's a pretty easy peasy. Just burn, 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 burn. But anyway, Wailing Caverns is enjoyable now. I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was new and what was going on. But uh, anyway, I'll have some more videos um, up and coming as I burn through the levels with my new awesome guild that I found. And I hope you enjoyed this crazy, super fast run through Wailing Caverns. See y'all.